Plex has made some exciting changes to the way we can manage our media servers. And while there is a lot going on under the hood, today I want to give a quick overview of three of the features that I think will change the way we Plex. Before I dive into these new features, I want to take a second to mention an exciting new affiliation I have with Plex. This new partnership will help support the growth of my channel anytime I help bring a new user into the magical world of media sharing. So if you are a new user or know someone who wants to share your passion for serving and consuming media, the link shown here will support my channel with each new free or premium user. Just make sure to take full advantage of any of my tutorials or guides to help you or your friends become the masters of your media. Don't worry, I will also provide a link in the description. Okay, so a common flaw with any normal internet service today is the completely unbalanced ratio of download to upload speeds. As shown in this example here of my own personal internet service, I can reach some fairly decent download numbers with the top tier package I have with my ISP. However, once I start the upload test, even with the highest package available in my area, I can only achieve a small fraction of the speed I can get while downloading. The problem is, no matter how powerful my server may be, the total number of streams I can have leaving my house at the same time is limited by my upload bandwidth. Well, fear not my fellow Plexians, we now have new ways to control our outgoing streams that will ensure no one user can ruin the experience for others. To do this, you have to make sure that you are running the Plex Media Server version 1.2.1 or higher. Furthermore, at the time of this video, this is a Plex Pass Preview version only, so to get the new version, you will need the Plex Pass. Alrighty, with that out of the way, the first new feature is one that I have wanted for a long time, and that is Remote Streaming Bandwidth Limitations. To access this new feature, simply go to the server settings from the Plex Web app. Then, navigate to the Remote Access screen, and you should see the new options underneath the Port Settings. I should also note here that I did have to use the plex.tv slash web URL to access these features as the web interface hosted on my server did not have them yet. This is sure to change as the feature becomes public. So now that you're on the screen, you will see two options. The first one is an option to set the overall bandwidth limitations for your server, and the second is for each individual stream. The first one is important because you can now specify exactly how much bandwidth you want to allow your server to use. So if you happen to need some kind of speed for any other reason, you can now set a lower number than your maximum available. By the way, to find out what your maximum upload speed is, you can visit speedtest.net. Just keep in mind that Plex is smart enough not to push this to the limit of whatever settings that you choose. It does a lot for some overhead for server requests and variable bit rates of your videos. Okay, now for the most exciting feature, you can select a limitation for each individual stream by selecting this drop down menu and picking the best option that fits your needs. And yes, I do say the most exciting because if you do happen to share your media library with multiple friends or family members, and you are like most people who have a limited upstream, this can greatly improve everyone's overall experience. In addition to all this, you can also select a maximum number of streams that can be transcoded at the same time, giving you just a little bit more control, just in a different way. To achieve this from your server setting screens, go to the transcoder tab. From here, you should see a new option to set it between one and 20, or if you wish, unlimited. This is a great feature, but if I had to be greedy here, I would ask for these kind of options to be available for each individual user. I personally think it would be awesome to be able to limit bandwidth, CPU usage, and concurrent streams for each account that I share my media with. Come on, Plex. I know you can do it. Alrighty, guys, that's it for today. Please keep my link in mind if you do decide that you want to try Plex out, as it does help support my channel and it won't cost you anything. As always, like and subscribe below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.